This is future me. This video turned into a bit of a train wreck, changing my mind, doing different things. I wasn't going to put it on, but I'll cobble something together, see how it turns out. So if you guys don't like it, I won't be offended. Let's get something done, shall we? Right, so a few weeks ago I did a video on fitting this gear knob here. I asked you guys what you fancied seeing next on this camper. And it's clear from the comments you guys decided that we need to get rid of this orange on the dashboard. Do you like my t-shirt? I've started doing these t-shirts now. There's a link down in the description. There's a few bits down there, some t-shirts and stickers and hoodies things like that. Thanks to everybody that's already bought one. Every bit helps and it all goes towards doing things for these videos. So cheers for that guys. Check out that description. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this orange that's on here and we're going to change that for something else. Right, what I've got is some carbon fiber hydro dip and I've got some activator here as well. I got it from, from these guys. I bought it online from them. But what I'm going to actually do, in, instead of the normal hydro dipping, I'm going to do some ghetto dipping. Is instead of having a proper dipping tank and everything else, we're just going to use what we can find lying around and try and do it. I bought this last night from a hardware store. This is just a, a little tub. Hopefully it's big enough to fit everything in so we can do a bit of dipping with this. Well, the first job, we need to get those panels off. This first one, this literally just pulls up. bit of a pain to do with one hand that one pulls up and comes off you can see i've got a usb charger in there i'll disconnect that in a second all right that's that one off down there right this next one i've got to pull the radio out first and then on the back of it here and here at the other side there's two t20 torx bits we have to undo and then it'll pull forwards all right so that's that ready when you do this bit just work it round slowly just to unclip it all the way around do it steady and it'll come off. I've just got to unclip those switches there and there. I need two hands for that. Right, there's another one off. Right, this one here, round the back down there, there's a T20 Torx bit. You just have to undo that and then it comes out. I've already broke mine because I didn't realise it had that on at the beginning, so mine just pulls out. But remember yours, it goes into there. It's on the back down there. Right, this side pull this end cap off this just clips off and down there there's a t20 torx bit take that out once you've got that out this just unclips right this side same again just pop this little trim off down there is a t20 torx bit once that's out just pop it off the same right this one is a bit more awkward this is the airbag one if you just grab it and pull it out, you'll see it's still attached. So what we've got is behind this glove box, there's some T20 Torx bits we have to get from the back so we can undo that. So in here, there's a few Torx bits we need to take out and then this will lift straight out. All right, so what you've got is one there, one there, there's one there, one there, and one there. I'm assuming these bits have little caps on. Mine didn't, so I've just taken the screws out. Then this will just lift up. It's a bit awkward just to feed it out. Right, I'll use my camera to try and show you here on the phone. But if you see there, there's a bolt. You have to reach round. They're a bit of a pain to find. You can see another one there. Undo those, and then this will pull out. Right, like I said, they are a bit awkward to get those out. I've just used a, li a little ratchet with a Torx bit on it. You can't see what you're doing, so it's a bit, bit of a pain. But once they're out, this literally... Right, there's actually four of them behind there. It's a bit awkward. I've just used a little ratchet. But once they're out, you can just prise the back out of the way, feed it out, and there you are. Right, so there's a pile of trims. Let's get those inside and get them ready. I'll push all these blanks out, 
take all this stuff off here and then I need to give it a quick sand to rough it all up. Normally these are just plastic so what you'd have to do is rough it up, sand it and then give it some plastic primer. I don't need to because they're already painted so I can rough this up and then we'll just paint straight over it with black. Right, so what I need to do is I need to paint this one black. I've already started those ones over there, they just need a few more coats, and then we'll get them all black, ready for dipping. So they're all ready. The Hydro Dip film, I've cut a piece out, just a bit smaller than this tub here. I've filled it up with water. Right, to see which side we wanna put in the water, if you just lick your fingers and grab it, the side that it sticks to is the side that goes in the water, which is that side down there. The activator, I bought this stuff that's in a bottle because I've got a spray gun. A spray gun puts it on a bit nicer and it also works out cheaper doing it this way as well. Right, so if I slide this in nice and steady, let it sit on the water. And what we'll see is it'll all tighten up and then eventually it'll all relax back down again. I've cut this a bit big, it shouldn't be folding up on the corner, but I'll try it anyway and see how it turns out. It needs a bit of room for expansion, but as you can see, I've not really left it there. We'll just chase this air bubble to the edge and get rid of it because we don't want any air bubbles in this at all. Right, that's looking like a water now. That's really relaxed, so that's ready. Right, change of plan. It turns out the film's black and clear. I didn't even notice, so doing it over black, you can't see it. So I've painted these bits silver. Let's see how that turns out in a minute when these are dried, shall we? All oh, right, there we are, you can see it now. All right, that's the carbon. Uh, ignore the little dots in it, I dropped it while it was still wet. I'm gonna do something different on all this. I'm not feeling that at all. Looks a bit tacky. Right, so I've been playing with some colours and I've gone for a complete change. Let's have a look at it. Right, what I've done is I've sprayed these candy red over grey. This, this is exactly the same colour as what's on, on the MR2. And if you want to know how to paint this colour, let's, assuming I know how the cards work, there's a link up here to the video where I painted the MR2 and you'll, you'll see how to do this colour. So what I'll do, is I'll get this back on the van and let's have a look, see what it looks like. Right, so there we have it, everything's back in. Just like the MR2, when we're in the shade, it looks like a, a deep cherry burgundy colour. I think that looks nice. What I'll do now is we'll go and find a bit of sunshine and then you can see how it glows red. So there we have it bit of sun hitting the colour so now you can see how it's changing from the deep cherry to a, a nice red and that's the cherry red colour same as the MR2 I think that looks good that it's not boring it's not over the top like the orange I think it I think it's all right hopefully you guys like that colour uh, the, to me the the carbon it looked a bit cheap and tacky, but I know there is some nice carbons out there, but the one I got wasn't that good, to be honest. So I chose this color and I think it looks all right. Hopefully you guys think it looks okay too. Anybody that lasted this long into the video, well done. I know it was a bit of a mess. I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.